Hello everybody and welcome to another Batman review. Today it is season 1, episode 21, The Penguin Goes Straight. And this episode marks the return of Burgess Meredith as the Penguin. And I have to say he does a solid job like he always does in the role. This is a good episode overall. It doesn't have uh, as many memorable scenes as some episodes. And the pace is a bit slower than some episodes. But the episode moves well enough. And overall I think it's pretty well thought out and pretty well written. So we start in a theater, and there's a thief there, and he tries to steal some jewelry, and the penguin is also present there, which leads us to believe he's probably in on it somehow. But in a twist, the penguin actually saves the day. Then we get another scene where the penguin is in some kind of club for man, I believe. I wasn't really sure what that club was, but he saves the day yet again. So it seems like the penguin might be reformed. Now, of course, we as the audience are suspicious, and um, so is Batman and Robin. They are very suspicious as well. They figure the Penguin is up to some kind of plot. We also find out that the Penguin is going into business with some kind of agency to protect wealthy pe people's jewels and things like that. And there's one woman in particular, Sophia, who he's linked to. So it's pretty clear that uh, he's after her jewels at this point. So Batman decides the best thing to do is send Alfred undercover again, which is always okay by me. It's always nice when Alfred gets a bigger role in these episodes. And he's basically supposed to plant uh, some kind of hidden microphone, I believe it is. This goes reasonably well. Uh, the Penguin kind of gets onto it, but Alfred gets away. And then... Uh, this is where the episode takes a little bit of a strange turn. Batman and Robin create some kind of fake jewels with the information that they've learned. And they decide that it's a good idea to break into the woman Sophia's apartment and actually plant uh, the fake jewels for the real ones. But of course the penguin, penguin walks in and a fight ensues and Batman and Robin do escape. It's, it's a pretty average fight, but it's relevant to the plot, so it was fine. So now basically, Batman and Robin are on the run for theft. I mean, what did they think would happen? They broke into somebody's home. I thought this was a little strange, but you just got to go with it. So now the Penguin basically calls the commissioner and wants them uh, apprehended for what they've done. So with Batman and Robin on the run, they now have no choice but to solve this case before they get caught. I do like the twist that Batman and Robin are now seen as the criminals, even if the way they got there was a bit strange. So we wind up in an amusement park at the end of the episode, and Batman and Robin wind up in a trap created by the Penguin where they're basically tied up, and uh, the Penguin is going to try and trick the uh, commissioner into shooting them somehow. I always wonder why the villains have all these elaborate plots once they catch Batman and Robin, why they don't just do away with them for some reason. But then the show couldn't go on and we wouldn't have a part two. So overall, this is a solid episode. Uh, it's pretty well thought out for the most part. There are a few strange plot elements, but the episode works fine and it sets up a decent part two as well. So overall, I give The Penguin Go Straight a three out of five. A solid episode for fans of the show that I think they'll enjoy. So a three out of five for The Penguin Go Straight. And as always, thank you very much for watching.